It's Liz Russell and uh, we're here this morning at Stuart Shepherd's farm, which is Moon's Farm Catterall near Garstang and Stuart has been using slurry bugs now for eight years. We've had a group of farmers here and we're educating them about the benefits of biologically inoculating the effluent in order to improve the nutrient value and the handling capability of their slurry. So in order to um, explain what you can do with slurry when you biologically treat it and the difference it makes, here we have two slurry analysis. This one is at Lodge Farm near Preston. Uh, this farm, 12 months ago, 2012, um, we analysed the slurry. So if we compare the slurry in the same way, we can see what the sl slurry is worth in order to reduce the application of bought-in fertiliser. The two important things on the slurry analysis are the pH, this is untreated slurry from 12 months ago, this one the pH is 6.95 which is making it slightly acidic and the dry matter of this slurry is 1.05 so it's very very liquid. Now when you look at those two figures the pH will discourage aerobic bacteria. What we want in order to improve the nutrient value of slurry is a pH of over 7. Because it was very watery, this converts into just 1.6 units of N per fresh ton of slurry, which then calculates through into 7.27 units per 1,000 gallons. Farmers often put between 2,500 gallons and 3,000 gallons an acre on when they're spreading. So this is an easy calculation to make. You're looking at about 21 and a half units of N per 3,000 gallons applied. Treated the slurry for 12 months and by this time we'd improved the pH to 7.93 which is then the aerobic bacteria which we've been inoculating with are actually growing through the pit and what they've done with the effluent is improved the solids to 6.98% dry matter. So, so automatically every tanker load of slurry that's going on the land is more valuable. So it's just like comparing milk to yoghurt. The only difference between milk and yoghurt is the bacteria within the milk. And that bacteria makes the yoghurt more dry. And that converts through to the units per fresh ton. We have four units of N per fresh ton. It converts through to 18.18 units of N per 1,000 gallons, so we've improved it from 7.27 to 18.18. That's about three, well, just less than three times increase. Um, so when you then say put 3,000 gallons of that per acre on, you're looking there at about 54 units of N per acre, compared to the 21 units of N we have here. Um, and this is through biologically treating the slurry and growing the aerobic bacteria within that slurry. We found uh, the slurry with the slurry books have better proportion of these minerals also than in the normal slurry. And I can't say how this um, performs in the, in the soil, but my guess is that will be much better than a uh, normal slurry because you have more compensate NPK and other nutrients, which is very good for the plants. Simply add it to warm water. That, that, that warm water there, add to that equal measures of the uh, micronutrients as well. So, again, another 100 mils. I've now put into that bucket enough to treat 10,000 gallons. Stuart Shepherd of Shepherd's Dairy Limited. We're producer retailers. Um, we started using slurry bugs in 2003. Stuart, can you tell us what fertiliser savings you've made since using slurry bugs? We found that when we were, we were putting 90 units on for first cut silage and we've cut it down to 70 to 75 units. Second cut, we were putting about 80 to 85 units on 
collected, we've cut that down to about 65 units. Third cut would put about 60 on, and we've cut that down to about 40. And then after that, we'd, we'd often go and put 30 or 40 units on, but now we more or less just go around and put slurry on. Right, behind me, we have a field. We have a field which we uh, spread with slurry two weeks ago. And as you can see, the cows, heifers are grazing it. Before we put the bugs in, you put the slurry on, you'd have to wait four or five weeks before we could get on and graze it. But now we can graze two, two weeks after we've got it on.